gamers welcome to the secret levels podcast i hope you drink your uranium because you know what we might be transformed into one of three beasts who knows what we're gonna be talking about because i hope you do it's time to rampage i'm player one toby Toffee. and i am player two goobs and we run a weekly retro video game podcast where we discuss old sometimes good sometimes bad Retro video game. And then we rate them, we rage about them, we let you know if they're worth playing. We do this every single week for your pleasure and ours, because we love this shit. And we are a part of the Somebody's Network. Go check out all those great fine folks and shows, some of the greatest people you ever meet in your life. Because we're all somebodies. And you're never alone when you got some buddies. Ching! <laughs> so what are we playing this week, goobs? Well, I gave a little hint at the beginning of the show, Toby. We are playing Rampage World Tour. What system did it come out on, my friend? Well, this game came out in 1997 on arcade, PlayStation, and Sega Saturn. And then in 1998, it came out on Nintendo 64 and Game Boy Color. You can also find it on the PC. You can find it on some uh, video game compilations for like the ps2 gamecube uh, maybe xbox not amiga no no not amiga <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be my running joke because every game before is amiga uh so this was developed and this the developing uh on this game was kind of I, I didn't quite understand but apparently game refuge inc worked on the arcade and playstation port point of view worked on the saturn and pc port Satire Corporation worked on the Nintendo 64, and Digital Eclipse worked on the Game Boy version. And, of course, this was published by Midway Games. Yeah, because I played mine on the Midway Arcade Classics on GameCube. There you go. See, uh, one of those compilations, eh? Oh, it's, it's great. You can get a whole bunch of games for one cheap value. Yeah. Why not? I, I, I love old... Uh, we should be cheating and just do a whole... Review just a compilation. <laughs> We're going to review this compilation. 25 reviews, two minutes each, go! <laughs> no, those are great, though, because you do... You eat, you at least get a handful of good games, you know? So... Some games you forget about as well, or some games you never try. It's like, hey, what's this game? Oh, that's amazing. Right. I never knew about that. So, this game is a multiplayer game. It is a one to three player game. Because there's three characters you can be in this game. And we'll get to that in just a second. This is a side scroll em beat em up style. Is, is that what it is? Because everything a that I building saw... Building beat em up? Well, uh, building... We can eat people. <laughs> building beat em up. Well, everything just kept saying action. And I was like, that's not very descriptive of this game. But it's no. it plays like a side scrolling beat em up, sort of. Except, like you said, you're beating up buildings and... Uh, airplanes yeah. and tanks <laughs> and humvees all sorts of fun stuff to smash and eat right clearly the creature's goal is to wipe scum labs from the face of the earth so there's a little bit of a story on this game would you like me to tell you a story yes tell me about the sexy nurse <laughs> oh she is sexy we'll get to her in a minute hello nurse <laughs> while it's true that there have been no serious side effects reported so far i think we need to stop production before <gasps> so the three main characters george lizzie and ralph george is the ape lizzie is the lizard and ralph is the werewolf they escaped from scum labs after an explosion after they were being experimented on to become these giant monsters the three set out to destroy all the Scum Lab bases all around the world. One of the busty Scum Lab employees that we've spoke about, named Dr. Elizabeth Veronica, is keeping track of what you do. That is such a porn star <laughs> name. I'm just throwing that in there. Yeah. Well, she's the one that's keeping track of, of what you've destroyed and, and what you've done so far in the game. You know, uh, your scoreboards between each level. 
That's bonus points if you're playing with other people. Right. So the story takes George, Lizzie, and Ralph to a moon base at the very end to face off against Scum Lab CEO Estes Demonic as he turns himself into a monster. At the end of the game, Dr. Veronica tries to destroy her employer's corrupt legacy by shooting a ray gun at the monsters, but it only shrinks them into a miniature size and they wind up in her ship with her. Because she's on the moon she's on the moon with That them. wasn't smart. No. So and that's how it ends. So, you may be asking yourself, how long does it take to complete this game? Hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, depending on how you play it, it's going to take uh, a, a while. The average I saw was about three and a half hours. And on speedrun.com, Nero Kitsune holds the record on the Nintendo 64 for an hour and 45 minutes and six seconds. Single player? I, yeah, I think so. Because I know you can do it fast if you're three skilled players and you're just like wrecking shit. Right. I bet. I wonder. I wonder if there's a any kind of record for multiplayer like that. I didn't even. Oh, look. there is. I, I I think it was under an hour. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that, folks. You've been quoted on the show. <laughs> Let's talk about the gameplay and what you're doing. In each level, you start out in a new city to destroy. You destroy houses, buildings, cars, planes, tanks, UFOs. Bridges and many other structures like uh, hot dog stands and newsstands. Or what are those things from RoboCop? Uh, ED one oh nine. Oh yeah, the the uh, yeah the robots with like the turret guns on it. Yeah, I think that's what they were called. I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me that again, folks. <laughs> I swear, I'm professional. You've been quoted on here twice now. <laughs> Shit happens. <laughs> uh, so. You can eat some of the humans because you're you're a giant monster. You're either the ape, you're the lizard, or you're the werewolf. I always was George. George the monkey. Think, They're the ape. Yeah, I should say. So that's what I started as. I couldn't. It wouldn't let me choose. <laughs> it just let me. You're just George. Yeah. <laughs> you got stuck with it. You can eat humans to regain health. As you punch holes in the windows of the buildings, you can find items for health or points for extra lives. Or toilets. Or to- yeah, there's a lot of items that'll hurt you, like toilets. Uh, the water will spray at you when you hit it. Yeah, same with bathtubs. There's uh, fridges you can grab. Yeah, cigarettes. There's uh, you, If you go up and you punch a neon sign, sometimes it will shock your ass. Pikachu! So there's a lot of uh, items that you can get that are good for you, and then there's some that are bad. But you'll find, like, fruit. You'll find bananas or hamburgers and french oh, fries. Oh, they give you super health. Yeah, so... You can get health, you can lose health, just depends on what you find in the and if you eat that famous toxic barrel of waste, oh man, does shit kick off. Yes, so if you eat the, it, well, if you if you find the purple uh, radioactive waste looking thing, and you eat it, it turns you into a giant purple winged creature, and you can fly around and you can destroy buildings real easy. And that monster's code name is Vern. V period, E period, R period, N period. I don't know what it stands for, but it's Vern. (laughs) I was playing with uh, Jenny Bean, my wife, and she's like, what the fuck are you? I'm just going around to smashing buildings and going nuts. And I'm like, okay, level done. She's like, well, that was fast. (laughs) Well, you can also get some other power-ups like the, uh, the, I can't remember what it's called, but the loogie where you can spit fire loogies. Yeah, the the hot loogie. Yeah, and you can set buildings on fire. You can, uh, or you can kill your friend that you're playing oh, with. Oh yeah, you can. Went through that several times. Right. You can. Uh, you hear that tone of my voice there? <laughs> you can get the death breath, or what's it called? I think it's called death breath, where you can burp. Yeah. You can basically, burp buildings down. It looks. I think he's yes. yelling, but it, to me, it should have been a burp. It looks like a burp to me. You, like you said, you can attack your uh, your friendlies. <laughs> your your partners which is a piss off because you only have like one or two buildings on the screen at once because you go and the, the whole stage wraps around again right? right so you go around and you're so close contact if you're trying to eat someone or beat up an airplane you're gonna end up smacking one another right it's like come on <laughs> yeah so uh your main attacks you've got kick punch and jump that's it that's it it's pretty simple. You can downward punch on buildings, and you can do flying drop kicks. Yeah, and then when you're on the side of the buildings, if you press the kick button, he does like a 
Yeah, he slammed. That was my favorite go to because, like, if you want to beat it fast, you smash all three of the panels or how many panels are on the building. You take them all out, right? In quick succession. And and like we said, you can hit your your uh, your friendlies. Like I was saying a second ago, and if if you are too close and you hit them too many times, you end up in a little cloud, like a cartoon cloud, where you're you're uh, wrestling it out. Yep, <laughs> which is pretty funny. I think that's pretty funny. They also pit you against your friend uh, later on, like on a bonus level. You're like, okay, fight it out, and you just like end up duking each other out, like. Kind of remind me of the shitty uh, Double Dragon multiplayer, yeah. like, versus. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, okay, we have two moves. What are we going to do here? Okay, let's just go and try to hit each other. Fight! I had my three-year-old and nine-year-old playing with me, and uh, they were getting very upset with each other because they kept accidentally hitting each other, and he's hitting me! He's hitting me! So I had a... I didn't hear a lot of that. That sounded exactly like when me and Jen were playing. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, when your character dies, like when you run out of uh, extra lives and everything, your character turns it back into a human. And uh, yeah, in your underwear. What the best part though is, your friends, the other people playing, can eat the human. Did you notice that? Yep. <laughs> and I, I, like I said, the three-year-old and nine-year-old were playing with me. Uh, the nine-year-old ate the three-year-old, and he goes, "Hey!" <laughs> <laughs> it was so great. Yeah, and they walk off like they shuffle to the side, like covering their groin, so you can't see them. It's pretty hilarious. I like that little animation. Yeah. Now, here's maybe it's a downfall. Maybe it's a positive when we get to the review portion of it. But it's infinite continues. You just hit start and you can go again. Well, hell yeah. With a game that has this many levels, as we'll get to, like tons and tons of levels, you need to have that little bit of uh, leniency on continues. Right. Yeah. Because this game gets pretty uh, stupid hard later on in the games. You're getting nailed by everything the world has to offer. <laughs> the whole military comes at you, man. You got monsters. Brutal. You got other monsters, UFOs, uh jets shooting stuff at you i mean you've got stuff you're freaking cyborgs coming at you too it's just brutal right my favorite thing though is when you hit a helicopter knock it out of the air and the parachute guy comes down and then you smack his parachute and then he falls and splats the ground you can still go up and eat him <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 the the eating animations are funny because like when there's a bunch of people on the ground you you scoop them up and you throw them in the air and you catch them in your mouth like it's got some funny stuff. Well, Jen really enjoyed kicking people. <laughs> Just booting them across the stage. Just punting the shit out of them. <laughs> oh, yeah. So take this, cop. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you think the controls handled in this? Uh, they, they handle as you expect. They're like not the tightest, but not the worst I've ever used. No. We, we've had some pretty bad ones. There's a couple times where it's frustrating trying to get uh, to where you can climb up the building when you press up on it, trying to climb up it. But other than that, like, it's really, it's pretty solid. See, I didn't have too much difficulty with that. The one difficulty I had is when someone else is on top of a building and you get hurt or something to fall down, you just bounce around aimlessly until you can cling, cling on to something yeah. or hit ground. Well, and it, it's because the camera's up high and, you know, there's only so much the camera can't be in two places at once so it, yeah exactly whoever's the highest is what takes priority and uh see i wish that's when it would pan out right when like someone's like when you guys are going up high you're both up there it pans out a little bit you only be in so tight and then if you fall down it's not an issue you just fall and hit the ground i guess it saves you some health right yeah but i, I think the controls overall they're not bad. It's it's real simple buttons. Like I said, my three year old was playing it with us. Like he was having a great time because it's it's jump punch kick, jump punch kick. Yeah, smashing buildings as giant monsters. What wouldn't a kid love about it? I know. It? And you know this this game uh, was at a pizza place in the next town over from where I live. And I remember being a little kid that the arcade was there, so we would go eat that nasty pizza. I would beg every time we went to that town to go shopping at the mall or something, I'd beg to go eat there just so we could play. The pizza wasn't good at all. Uh, well, I mean, pizza is always good, but it's, it was, <laughs> it was lower grade pizza. Let's put it that way. And, uh, it's like little Caesars. <laughs> yes, exactly. It was something similar to that. So, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd go there just to play this rampage game. And I remember, I went one time and they didn't have the arcade anymore and I was devastated because the other games were trash. 
Like there was nothing. Still have to eat this fucking pizza. <laughs> <laughs> still gonna eat the pizza. Yeah. So, uh, what'd you think about the music? Yeah, it didn't really stick with me too much. It's it's a little repetitive. Um, it was okay. Like, if I had to give it a rating, I give it. I don't really want to listen to it again. Yeah, it's it's kind of like bad '90s rock <laughs> or something. You know, just generic. Me- it sounds like the generic uh, rock music that your creator wrestling. It, it loops very quickly too. Yeah. It's- and there's not, it doesn't seem like there's that many tracks on there, so you, it seems like you get, well, and especially with the amount of levels, I think you do get stuck with the same music quite a bit. Yes, you do. Very, very repetitive stuff. So, yeah, there's not really much to say about the music, it's just, it's droning, and, you, I don't know, this game, I put on other music, because I'm just like, you know what, I'm not fucking dealing with this right now. Right. I'm trying to grind through this as far as I can, and... That's just a hindrance to me at this point. You know, some of the sound effects are pretty good. Uh, the people, like, when you when you run up at first, like, the people scatter and they, they're screaming and stuff. Uh, it's got some funny sound effects. for. The- oh, the sound effects are great. Yeah. It's just the music that isn't. Right. Did you notice, like, if you played a level too long, the music would just cut out and it would just be sound effects and it would be really awkward because you'd be like, huh, it's really quiet. <laughs> No, I didn't notice that. Well, I, Maybe because I was just blocking it out mentally anyways. Every once in a while, the three-year-old would get distracted and, like, not be playing, so his remote would be sitting there, and I'd have to go, hey, grab your remote, move, you gotta move. So we would play some of the levels a little extra longer than intended, and uh, yeah. the music would stop on us. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't, That's funny. I don't know what that means. Um what do you think of the, the the animations, the the character designs, and everything? Oh, I really enjoyed the graphics and animations in this game. I think they were still like pretty decent to go back and play to this day. Well, we enjoy that kind of stuff, but it wasn't too pixely. It was pretty smooth. It reminded me of kind of like a claymation kind of feel. Yeah, and uh, I like the little like even you can make up the little people, even though they're very small. You still know who you're stepping on at that moment, right? <laughs> I think all the character designs are really cool. My favorite character is Ralph. Uh, I I always try to be Ralph. I remember at that same arcade putting the quarter in the wrong uh in the wrong slot to where, oh. or hitting start on the wrong one and being like god damn it I'm I'm not Ralph, you know. So I think Ralph looks cool. I think uh you know everything looks good. It it looks like it like you said a, a kind of a Almost has a claymation feel, uh, a clay fighter feel. I like it. I know a lot of people don't think it's great, but eh, I dig it. I kind of dig it. Well, it's coming far away since the Nintendo one, because I've been playing that as well. It's just... Uh, that one's pretty weak. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the same thing over and over again. Like, all the games are the same. You know what you're getting into when you're getting a play- Rampage game. Let's be serious here. Right. But if you just want to cause destruction as a giant monster, this is the game for you. <laughs> And the guy I play, I would have played if I got the choice would probably be George, because I just love that whole King Kong thing, man. Just go up and smash, and get that girl in the red dress. You gotta grab her. <laughs> um, you want me to give you some of my fun facts? Wait, we we didn't say our favorite favorite sprite, which is the nurse again. Oh, yeah, <laughs> gotta keep bringing up that sexy nurse, yeah, man. No, she uh, she was a little bit busty. So, and I got some fun facts about her in just a second. So, oh, yeah, really? So you want to hear? Did she shoot some soft corn movies? Uh, soft corn? <laughs> soft corn movies? <laughs> she does do something with corn. <laughs> no. She makes it be popping. <laughs> I'll start with her fun fact first. If you beat the game at the end when uh, she shrinks you, in the arcade version, Lizzie comes in and bounces on her boobs and then goes in between her cleavage. <laughs> but on, 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 I think on the majority of the the home ports, they actually edit it to where he sh- uh, Lizzie's just sitting on your shoulder. So <laughs> yeah, it's if you get a chance, go look up the the arcade ending because it's really funny how it, it that Lizzie bounces wink and right into the cleavage. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking hilarious! I didn't know yeah. that. If you eat nuns, you know there's there's like a group of nuns and preachers and stuff. If you eat them, yep. You get struck by lightning. Did you notice well, that? I never, I never would touch a nun. Because <laughs> you don't just do that, man. Well, I was just eating everyone, and all of a sudden I, I, I ate them, and then uh, God 
gave his wrath to me <laughs> as a lightning bolt, <laughs> and you get all crispy crittered. I'm sure you had one or two coming to yeah, you, Toby, probably, let's be honest. Probably. <laughs> so, if you take too long, this isn't about the music, but if you take too long to destroy the city, some jets will come and bomb the remaining buildings, which this makes your score lower. It doesn't kill you, it still helps you progress, but your score will be lower. Oh, that's how I should have beat the game, just like left it on overnight. <laughs> well, it might it might take that long because there's more than 130 standard levels. There's 14 bonus levels, four grudge match levels, and then some other hidden levels, apparently. So, <laughs> to beat it... Yeah, it's an absolutely long-ass game. Yes. Like, it's a lot longer. Like, they could have stopped at 70 levels, 60 levels, and it, they could have made the levels a bit longer in the beginning of it, but, like, 130 plus is... That's a lot of the same thing yeah. over and over again. And it is a lot of the same. You're just climbing buildings, punching things. Yeah. And and like you said, you have unlimited continues, so it's not like you're you you don't have to try. You don't have to try at all. You No. If you get killed, There's oh no well. challenge at all. Just, if you die, you die. Who cares? You come back. Right. So it, I do like the levels though, where you're on the planes and you fly around and oh, get one like, of the power ups and special things. One of the bonus levels, yeah, yeah. Uh, the kids like those. They they were freaking out every time trying to, which everything's <laughs> going by so fast. You're not sure if you're getting good stuff or bad stuff. So yeah, no. Sometimes you blow up or you're hitting each other. It's just whatever. Who cares? Let's just go. <laughs> it's a good time though. So in the first level. I guess there's these t uh, tourism billboards that cycle through different regions in the country, like northeast, southwest, stuff like that. Destroying the billboard when it is showing one of those regions will send the player in that direction. So you can actually kind of pick where you go. Oh. Right. So, and and this, is, this also may be why you play so many levels. The game will not end until every Scum Labs city has been destroyed, which may cause some erratic traveling around towards the end of the game. Oh, no. And uh, you might actually... And I didn't understand this, if it meant like you might play the same levels again, but you may go to the same like countries or, or states and stuff like that. And there's... Uh, I guess there's like a little world tour flag that you need to get because that's what helps you progress. I, I'm not real sure on that. Yeah, there's those flags inside of the... When you punch the buildings, you get like a little flag of America. You can hit it and it changes to different countries. Yeah, and that's I think that's how you go to the different countries. So, Oh, okay. This, this is a helpful tip, and this is my last one for any speedrunners out there. Most people prefer the Nintendo 64 version because there's less load time. Yeah, because there's no disc reading, right? It just plays right off the cartridge and just goes. And, you know, really from what I noticed, which I didn't play both versions, I did watch a, a comparison video. The arcade, the PlayStation, the Nintendo 64, they all play about the same. Like, they, they all look about the same. I, I, like I said, the only thing that would be noticeable is the load times, you know? Oh, even on the GameCube version I was playing, it was loading like a mother. Really? Oh, yeah, you had to wait at least a minute or a minute and a half in between things. So that would definitely take away from speedrun times. Right. So like, you finish a level, loading. Finish a level, loading. It would just keep on chugging on and chugging on. Well, there is a Game Boy, uh, Game Boy Color version of this game, and it looks pretty dumbed down. <laughs> it does not look very good for this game. So I, if it has half the levels, it might be in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just I don't think I could play it. It just it looked really really weak compared to you know what we were getting on the sixty four and the PlayStation at the time, and which that's how all Game Boy games kind of look from that era compared to you know its counterpart. Yeah, everything else, right? But that's really it. That's all I got for for fun facts. Should we rage on this game? Yeah, there's nothing really much to talk about about this game. Besides, let's get to it. Let's rage. Oh, come on! Ah! The rage meter is our scale of 1 to 10 of how pissed off and furious this game makes you. So, who wants to go first? I'll go first. I'll give this game a 
five on the rage meter. All right, explain yourself. It's, well, you can you can't die, so you just keep on going. It doesn't matter what the fuck you do. You can climb buildings, punch them all you want. You can get shot by those little fucking annoying jetpack guys with the flamethrowers. You can jump on airplanes and then blow up, or you can ride airplanes too. Those are kind of fun. But I forgot. I wanted to mention that before, so I'll throw it in here. You can jump on airplanes; they're fun to ride. <laughs> You're supposed to be raging. I am raging. <laughs> <laughs> you can have fun while I rage, can't <laughs> I? I guess so. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just you get really bombarded by things at times, and it's, I don't know. It's not too much rage. Maybe I'll drop it down to a four point five because you can't really. I'm talking myself out of it. I always do. <laughs> Last week you uh, talked yourself up. This week you're talking yourself down. Yeah, no, I'm talking myself down. It wasn't too bad. <laughs> <laughs> so you're staying at a four point five. Yeah, it, it can get annoying. It's just more of the repetitive that, that gets to you. It's 130 levels is a lot yes. of the same thing over and over and over again. So that's. It will get to you, and they just keep on adding more and more and more of the fucking people that you really don't like. Five. Right. <laughs> it just raises to a five. <laughs> well, I'm going to say a four. I'm going to say a four just because I like the characters. I like everything about the game. It's just very repetitive. Like you said, too many damn levels. Just way too many levels for anyone to want to sit there and play repetitively. Like, imagine playing a Mario game with 130 plus fucking levels. That would be bad because there's at least different challenges. This is like, okay, I've seen these same buildings over and over. I've dest- I know I've destroyed this same building 170 times already. You know, because it just, it's, there's nothing to jump over. I mean, there's, every once in a while you'll, you'll find a bridge that you can jump over, but it's little and I, I just yeah, it's not hard to jump over yeah and there's no cha- there's just no challenge really in this game like you said you do get bombarded uh during the higher levels on the the first 20 30 levels you're not like really just getting hammered with bullets and and ammo and you know uh, fire and, and whatnot so yeah whatever else they want to throw at you i'm just gonna say a four because it's you could almost, like I said, I, I played it with my kids, and they thought it was a great time, and they were loving it, and they didn't get mad at, at all, except when they fought each other. Their rage meter when they fought each other was like a nine, <laughs> because they just can't stand that. Then they start fighting each other in real yeah, life. And break it up, break it up! But yeah, no, I'm just, I'm sticking at a four. I don't think it's that stressful of a game. I think it's a pretty laid back game for a game where you're destroying everything. But... Let us move on and give this game a 1 to 10 rating on what we think. Is this game good? Is this game bad? 1 to 10. I'm going to go first. You do it, man. You do you, Toby. I, uh, like I said a minute ago, I like this game. Uh, I loved the arcade when I was a kid. I, I would spend a bunch of money and, and eat terrible pizza to play this game. Well, you didn't trace the size of this arcade? Do what? You didn't trace the sides of the sides of oh, this arcade. No, 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 no. This wasn't like my uh, Street Fighter and and Simpsons pinball. I didn't trace the pictures on the side, <laughs> but I did love this game. Uh, I, I think I was just too old and realized how weird that would be. <laughs> Otherwise, I probably would have. But uh, I like the character design. I I just wish there was more to it. I, I just feel it, it gets. I hate to say boring because it's. It's a cool idea for a game, but there could have been more. And you only got three buttons, really. You know, punch, kick, and jump. It'd be cool if they had, like, some kind of combos, like Street Fighter or something. You could just throw, like... If you had, like, special moves you can do every once in a while. Like, you build up, you smash so many buildings, you build up, like, a monster meter. Yeah. And then you unleash all hell. Right. And, and the thing is, you... you there is no, uh... You have infinite lives, so there's no, like, urgency to, like, live. You don't care. Like, there's no... Life doesn't matter. Because you just... You have oh, but extras. Speaking of uh, something I want to touch on, then I'll, you're just reminding me of the life thing. The life bar is, like, good health, bad health, 
need health, emergency. And it just keeps on telling you the state of your yeah. health. I'm like, it doesn't matter if I die or not, yeah, man. I'm going to come right back and break some buildings. So my rating, I'm giving it a six. And I feel like that's even a little high, but I'm going to stick with a six. I like it. I've got some nostalgia for it. I don't think it's ba- it's I don't think it's a bad time. It's something you can uh, play with your kids, and it's it's hyper violent. I feel like so it's like one of those where it's you could play it with your kids because it's not crazy compared to what's on TV now. It's not bloody yeah. and like everything like that. It's, you're smashing buildings. Yeah. So I, well, you're eating people, but there's no like they don't show like a close up. Imagine if they made this game now, like, VR Rampage, and you're, like, <laughs> reaching down, grabbing people, shoving them in your mouth. And screaming, like, I would, no, no, I have children. I would actually quite enjoy playing that. <laughs> More. They could put one of the Titans from Attack on Titan in the game. That'd be badass. That'd be really cool. So, yeah, uh, I'm giving it a six, but I want to hear what you give it. Well, uh, I was pretty nostalgic about this game as well. I played a lot on the 64 growing up with my brother and my cousins just as I do with my 64 games and yeah I just love Rampage in general as a whole concept of a game smashing things I was a big move monster movie guy growing up I love Godzilla I love King Kong give me more of that shit so when a game came out like Rampage I've been hooked on that since Nintendo so and going all the way through or NES sorry and going all the way up through his legacy and I'll give this game, I'll do you a point five better. I'll give it a 6.5, sir. Okay, that's fair. That's pretty fair. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a... It is, as we always said uh, tons of times, we are getting repetitive at this point, saying that we're repetitive. <laughs> but it is that. And it, but if you can get around that, you can find some joy in this game. Like, play it with a friend. Play it with two friends. You can play with... Yeah, you just have a good time. You know, it'd be, have a Bernache Trois of destruction. <laughs> it'd be fun as a drinking game. Like, every time you die, you drink. You take a drink. Oh, no. Every time... Uh, Strip. Huh? Strip. <laughs> strip Rampage. <laughs> whoever whoever gets the most points in the level, they strip at the end. <laughs> no, every time you die, you take clothes off. It's like a character. <laughs> Everyone's sitting there in parkas and shit, like wearing 15 layers. <laughs> well, see, uh, Kristen actually found this game at a... Uh, uh, I was worried about where you're going with that conversation. <laughs> no, <laughs> Kristen found this game for me at a thrift store for PlayStation 1, and it was in beautiful condition. Like, everything looks good. It's not scratched up and everything. And I was so excited because I love this game. I think it's a good game. I don't think it's bad. I think you should at least try it out if you want something goofy to waste. You won't play it for the three hours. You you won't beat this game. Let's let's be honest. You're not going to beat this game anytime soon. But it's fun to... You're not going for the moon, but you can land among the stars. <laughs> there you go. It's a fun game just to screw around with and, you know, kill... 30, 45 minutes, and then before you're like, okay. And hell, there was a movie starring Rock the Dwayne Johnson about this movie. Hey, I like that movie. I think it was a pretty decent movie. I cannot confirm or deny this yet. Finish him. So you can find me, Toby, on another podcast called the Secret Transmission Podcast, where we discuss conspiracies, the supernatural, serial killers, cults, uh, basically anything strange and unusual. You can find us on all the major podcasting platforms and Twitter and Instagram at Secret Transpod. What about you, my friend? Do you have something that you do on the side? Nope. You do this on the side. Do you have something that you do <laughs> on... Yeah, you're my side bitch. Yeah, do you have main bitches? <laughs> uh, I got a couple main bitches. Speaking of my main bitch, the derailers, go check that out. Just follow it on Twitter at the derailers. We're on iTunes, we're on Stitcher, we're on all sorts of shit. Go find us there. And we're, me, my wonderful wife Jenny Bean, my best friend Ripkin, who has nine toes. He's a specialty, folks. Go (laughs) check him out. I get one per show. (laughs) And uh, we take this train off the tracks every single week, and it's absolutely a great time. We don't know what we're going to be talking about, so just come and listen. It's a great conversation. Lots of jokes to have in store. And we have a horse named Naysay. He's great. Yeah, he is. And you can also check out Derailed Wrestling. Follow it on YouTube at Rassle Nerds Wrestling. I don't know why I say at. Just follow Rassle Nerds Wrestling on YouTube. <laughs> I always say at. I'm used to the old Twitter handle. I forgot taken away. WNW, motherfucker. 
I'm <laughs> just going to throw that in there, too. <laughs> but me and Ripken sit down. We do commentary. We make a whole bunch of CAWs of our best friends and a whole bunch of random people that we've created in our minds. Throw them in a wrestling ring on WWE 2K18. 19's coming out soon. That's going to be a lot of fucking work. So come and watch all the mayhem as we make a whole bunch of great shows that's greater than the main product, folks. That's right. It's good stuff. But for this show, The Secret Levels Podcast, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Secret Levels Pod. You can follow us on Facebook. We have a page. Go like it. We also have a group called The Secret Levels Group. Go in the group. Join the group. Be one of the group. Yeah, join us. We are a group. Talk with us about video games, the video games. And uh, do we have anything else that we could possibly sell the fine people that listen to this? To this show? Yeah, we can we can throw some merchandise at people. You can go to tbubba.com slash user slash secret levels. Go there, check it out. You can get some great, great merchandise. You can put on absolutely everything. Do you have a kid? Throw a secret level shirt on them. You got a dog? Throw a secret level shirt on them. You got a computer? Throw a secret levels logo on it. <laughs> you got a tapestry? No? Well, you should get one with the Secret Levels logo there on it. Go. <laughs> we got a bunch of cool designs. Uh, we've got a Mega Man parody, a Streets of Rage parody. What else do we got parody as of? We got Grand Theft Auto. We got uh, fucking Streets of Rage. I think you just said that. <laughs> we got a bunch. Go check them out. And, and I'm adding more all the time. So, And it, it would help support the show. So we would appreciate that. So we can get more games. <laughs> Oh, well, thanks, Gladys. Thanks for bringing me the new Sunday paper. Can't wait to test this out. Ah, time to go to my favorite docile place, the pooper. Ah, no one will bug me here. I can finally sit down. I ate too much cheese. I forgot to take my pill because I'm lactose intolerant. You know, I got a rumbling in my tummy. I get to sit down and be at peace and read the Sunday funnies. I cannot wait. Oh, oh, I think I ate way too much cheese. I think I ate way too much cheese. The bullet is erupting underneath me. What's going on here? Why is the whole floor shaking? What the? I think I took the wrong lactose pills. Am I hallucinating again? Like it's the 60s? A blue wolf? Yeah, it's very cold. Let me spray something. Tastes like shit. Game over, folks. <laughs>